I've been wondering for a little while how certain screws that I use on a regular basis react to the elements. So I'm going to do a little very unscientific experiment. So I've got um, a box of screws here, fairly commonly used ones, and what I'm going to do, I've got some trusty frog tape containers which are infinitely useful. I use them for all sorts of things. I've put the date on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to test one batch of screws just with normal uh, tap water. This is literally straight out the tap and I'm also going to do a separate batch. I'm going to just add some household salt. Uh, I can't open a child cap with one hand. So just shove some water in there, some in there, oops, and this one's going to have a random quantity of, of salt in, I don't know how much, that much, give it a bit of a mix, and I've managed to spill water everywhere, let me get a cloth. You may be able to beat that. Only for the first three children. It's got a hole in it. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Well, that's not going to work. Oops! Let's try that again. Got glass jars this time, and I'm assuming these don't have holes in. So here is just ordinary tap water. We'll add some salt to that. I'm sure there'll be a million other videos like this on YouTube of people seeing, watching screws rust. Anyway, is that enough? A bit more. Right, that'll do. We'll give it a quick mix. Hootie dootie, that'll do. Look at that. Great. Okay, we're gonna do, these are nearly all um, screw fix screws by the way. Um, I'm sure you can find equivalents, but okay, let's start with it. Oh, I've got a screw in the wrong section. Silver um, dome head screws. One, one. A couple of quick silver. I think these. What are these? These are ten by one and a half. And quick silvers. We'll go for the same type of screw, but we'll go for the longer ones. These are the two and a half inch. One in each. Let's go for, I've got lots of these, let's use some of these. These are Turbo Gold, so Screwfix Turbo Gold. I can't remember the exact size. I think they're about four by 45 or something like that. Anyway, we'll go for one in each. And here we've got, these are just normal gold screws. Um, four by 30s. Dome head, one in each. We'll shove these outside. I'm rapidly coming to the conclusion that these screws are going to take a lot longer to rust than I thought they would. I thought at least a salty one would have started rusting by now, but there's not a scrap of rust on anything. So, uh, 
I think what we're going to have to do is come back for a part two. In the meantime, I'm conscious of the fact that not a lot of, well, no air really can get to the screws. I mean, there's obviously air in the water, but maybe it would be a better test to just leave a bunch of screws actually out in the open. They're going to be getting wet when it rains, uh, they're going to be subject to the elements, they're not going to be sheltered in, in any way, and we'll try that and we'll come back to them. So I'm going to do that now. So they're just hidden away, but the element should get them absolutely fine. We'll come back to that. I'll check them every couple of weeks, I think, because um, I don't think anything's going to happen to them anytime soon. So come back in part two, and uh, we'll see how these have got on. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!